welcome to my brainy book. It's full of fun things for you to find. Let's read. Creepy house. Isn't it wonderful? Dr. Harvey and his daughter Cat were moving into old Whipstaff Manor. Sorry, Cat. I have to go where my work takes me. Fun. Click on him to play the game. <laughs> Looks like company. Let's mess up the house. <laughs> Wow, maybe there are ghosts here. There's no such thing as ghosts, Dad. Cat hated moving from place to place, but her father's job was to hunt for ghosts, and ghosts were hard to find. I'm sure we'll find ghosts here. I can't wait to get to work. <laughs> hey, turn that light back on. I'm really tired. I'm going to sleep. Sleep tight, sweetheart, and don't let the bed bugs bite. Ugh, yucka.
I wonder which bedroom I should use. The hallway was lined with doors. Cat looked around curiously. I wonder if Dracula ever slept here. Oh no, that would be too scary for me. <laughs> Try this one. I've got to get some sleep. <gasps> Girl. Wow. I sure hope we won't have to move again. I was just getting to know everyone at my last school. Cat got ready for bed. She liked her room. She was almost feeling at home again. I wonder who used to live here. <laughs> mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest ghost of all? Everybody's a critic. Kate got ready for bed. She liked her room. She was almost feeling at home again. My picture frame is falling down, falling down, falling down. My picture frame is falling down. Whoops! Seems like a comfortable bed. Daddy! I saw a, a ghost! You saw a what? A ghost! 
Really? A ghost? Wow! Cat's dad was very excited, but Cat had never been so scared in her life. What are we going to do now? I'm not scared. Take me to it. Dad was very. Cat's dad was very excited. Cat's dad was very excited, but Cat had. Cat's dad was very excited, but Cat had never been so. Hey, cut that out! Cat's dad was very excited, but Cat had never been so scared in her life. <laughs> F A T S O, Fatso. That's my bed. Casper's three uncles, Dr. Harvey was as scared as Cat. The three ghosts seemed to be very mean. <laughs> all for one and one for all. Catch your pants before they fall. <laughs> Smellogram. <laughs> all for one and one for all. Catch your pants before they fall. <laughs> Jingle bells, stinky smells. So did a dance. Stretch swung his umbrella and the doctor lost his pants. Hey! <laughs> After eating Vasper's Cree Tunkles, Hector Darby was as cared as scat. The Cree toast seemed to be Mary Veen. The ghostly trio was tough, but Dr. Harvey got the last laugh. Hey, Dad! The vacuum! <laughs> the next morning, Cat met Casper in the kitchen. Please don't scream. I promise it won't hurt you. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry about last night. I didn't mean to scare you. All Casper wanted was a friend. You're a pretty good cook. For a ghost. How 
about some toast. I wish you could take me with you to school. Sorry, Casper. I don't think they'd understand. While Cat talked to Casper, Dr. Harvey tried to make friends with his uncles. Tell me what it's like being a ghost. People get bent out of shape when they see me. <laughs> Yeah, we're having the time of our lives. <laughs> I mean, dead. <laughs> this could be the scientific discovery of the century. Atke octe ute asperke octer de arvi he i tre ute ake me ends fray if way is he uncle's way. Go have some fun! <laughs> Being a ghost meant he couldn't really be Cat's friend. Well, if you were a real boy instead of a ghost, I'd love for you to come to my party.
Have you got any shoes to match? Casper Dasper Rasper was sad, mad glad. Being a ghost toast roast meant he, me, be, couldn't really, mealy freely be cats, rats, bats, friend, men, bend. Casper had a great idea. He told Cat about a machine in the basement that can turn a ghost into a person. Come on! When they reached the basement, Casper pointed to a big machine in the middle of the room. This is where my dad had a secret laboratory. He invented the machine I was telling you about. <laughs> dad? I shouldn't have done this. Who's the girl? I... I don't remember. I'm confused. <laughs> Click on Uncle Stinky to play his peekaboo. Have fun. Get smart. What? Something happened? Oh, yeah. Sorry. 
There was a little accident. Do we have to go to our room? Do we have to go to our room? I don't want to be a ghost. It's okay, Dad. This machine can turn you and Casper back into people. No. The machine will only work once. Casper wanted to use the machine to turn himself into a boy. But if he did, Cat's dad would be stuck as a ghost forever. It looks like I'm stuck as a ghost forever. Dr. Harvey, Cat needs her father back. The patient is going to be just fine. Casper wanted to use the machine to turn himself into a boy. But if he did, Cat's dad would be stuck as a ghost forever. Casper, the friendly ghost from around the world. <laughs> Go ahead, Dr. Harvey. You use the machine. Casper? This is the way it's gotta be. Dad! Cat! Wow. Thanks for giving me back my dad. Yes, thank you, Casper. Hey, that's what friends are for. After the Halloween party, Cat and Casper celebrated. Cat had found a new home, and Casper had found two new friends. May I have this dance? Did I ever tell you that I'm a good dancer? I love you, Cat. Did I ever tell you that I'm a good dancer? Come on, bedbugs, march on through! Don't be afraid, we won't scare you! One, two, three, four! One, two, three, four! Going up! Flushies! <laughs> 
<laughs> Second floor. And remember, don't watch your step. And by all means, please trip. Ouch! May I have this dance? Kiss and Casper celebrating! <laughs>